Our cultural belief says that we live and die on the land. I'll be buried where I was born. Yeah, it's yes. a fantastic job. Fantastic job, like, because we're going out in the field, out in the country and working. Working and looking after the country. I mean, it's hard, but it's good. You feel good <laughs> when you work for your own country for our own people, protect the environment, and for our kids as well. Because I don't like to sit around at the house and do nothing. You know, I like to move around and do a bit of work. It's good for your health, um, yeah, well-being. Looking up to the land, doing burnings, make me happy. Seeing, seeing the guys um, being engaged with this, this type of work, um, it's something, something that uh, you know, it really connects you with, with family because um, it, it's, it's a good sense of feeling after when we leave and then, you know, we, 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 when we finish the house, we go back and visit the family that, that we, you know, it's, it's an overwhelming um, a joy to see, see that. You learn a lot of things in a job and a lot of things what really happening in the world, which is good, so you can understand better way. I guess the other thing is good for young people to come and join and work with us and to make them be strong and to tell them who they are and where we belong. I want to I wanna work because all my family worked before me and they, they, they was hard workers and yeah, they had a name for themselves for working. I want to do it, you know, like I want to learn things and do things, you know and get a job and good money and all that. Yeah, I don't know why there's, there's no jobs like in Catherine. The gap has been getting wider all the time. It's a bit sad when other contractors come in then ask young people to work with them. Like we should, we should have our own building team here sitting, working for this community. Young people is not running the show in their own community. The government need to look at Yolngu people so we can have funding for long-term jobs. And some of, some of us would run our own businesses, like painting, building houses, or even with cleaning stuff, you know? Give Yolngu freedom to run their own businesses and more training to Yolngu in their own homelands. Now, there are social issues here. We, we see that every day as you walk around. But um, those issues are not faced just by Indigenous people, they're faced by everybody. So with employment, for example, there is a drain on kids leaving town to go to Darwin or, or further afield because they want to go and look for work. So we have problems here that that's happening. So we're hoping here we can create some sort of small micro businesses at least so that we can um, keep people in town. A lady is starting a mobile op shop, which she will drive around to communities around the Catherine region and um, sell from her truck. Um, they put out a, a call to people from around Australia, especially down south, to donate clothes and anything else to her to take on her store. And the response was overwhelming. This is full of clothes and this will get this lady's business up and running. I think she'll be doing the shop for quite a while. It shows that Indigenous people can achieve something. Um, it, it might show a 16 year old kid who, who doesn't know what he wants to do that you can achieve anything you want to do because these guys have done it. I mean they're not sitting around waiting anymore. They, they're saying we want to start our own business. We want to create something that belongs to us and we take control of that. We had seen 
a lot of our people, you know, being sick with diabetes, heart disease, you know, kidney disease, uh, all those killer diseases. And we, we've seen a lot of death happen. And so this is where we all wanted to get together and say, hey, we need to stop all this. So how do we do it? We have to bring back our culture. The women themselves created and established this traditional garden. It helps us to be able to make our traditional bush medicines. Over here we have the lemongrass. This is the lemongrass we call jeer. Jeer is one of the um, strongest antibiotic we use. There are different uh, species of plants that we can use and they, they are all for different purposes. We're able to make that bush medicine, you know, as one of our products and sell that, you know, overseas or, or wherever, wherever people want to buy our stuff. Uh, we're part of the Western society as well. And so we see money is very important too, you know, in, in our community. And it's not being famous. It's just a group of people, you know, who are working to sustain the well-being of our people. You have to listen to the people, that's the main thing. And we'll listen to you too. Yeah. We live and die where we were born. And it, that will never change.